Hello everybody. When I change the potentiometer, the pin color is changing and the text color also changing and the pin and bar is moving and going fast. Other side. Let's get started with this. The wiring connection is here. I zoom in to see and uh, the other one. I am using FTDI and connect this side to the computer. Now we can open the next gen editor. I have shown how to install next gen editor to a simple program. It's available here. Um, this one we create a new uh, UNM EOT save. Yes. Uh, this is the device I am using. Okay. I am going to use horizontal. Okay. Uh, first of all, you just generate a font. Uh, make it bit bigger 32 and give a name what generate font save yes okay yes we add a picture I'm having a blank picture uh, I show you in the other video how to make picture please watch that one uh, we add a picture here and picture we browse and we take that one now we add a couch make it a bit smaller and we keep it here and the, the gouge is Z0 and the background color and value everything we are going to uh, change with the uh, stm32 cube id we keep it as it is um, but uh, yeah this one we just change this one uh, sta crop image and uh, the picture we use the same picture everything else we're going to change it with the cube id this one also we just change it to seven we make it thicker mm -hmm. now for number we make it we bring it here and uh, text we'll bring it here bring it bigger and uh, go below i just make it empty i just delete delete this one okay and also uh, progress bar bring it here and make it a bit bigger that's all we can save and compile and see for any errors everything okay just upload it um, for go. it took a while i fast forwarded the video now remove the nexian display from the ftdi and connect to the uh, stm32 blue pill a9 goes this side the ground side a10 goes this side where the other side is the uh, vcc 5 volt the potentiometer is here the wiring connection are like this now i have opened the cube ide if anybody doesn't know how to install cube ide i have made a separate video available here the commercial part number I put F103C8 and this is the one. Click next and give a name. I give port and finish. As usual, we click system core, click sys for the debug serial wire and RCC high uh, crystal ceramic resonator and uh, we go to analog. I'm going I'm using ADC one for the potentiometer uh, we use in nine and configuration uh, sorry in nine tick configuration parameter setting make sure continuous conversion mode is enabled and uh, for the connectivity you start one make it asynchronous and uh, continuous and configuration parameter setting the board rate is 9600 enter now we go to clock configuration change this to 72 
and enter click ok now we can click save yes yes for simplicity i have given the code in the my website the description below of this video when we go there this is the one and when we go below uh, the code is here uh, user code begin include we put this line only this line and we go to cube ide uh, include is here and we paste it and uh, for the user code begin zero we copy from here until user code end zero it's here copy and go to cube ide the same place A zero is here we paste it and user code begin two we put only this line and we go up there in the same place that's here we paste it and then use the code begin while we from copy from here until hull delay 50 copy and uh, that's here we paste it now we can save what is happening here and we have two function uh, character transmit and number transmit this is how it works uh, in the while loop we get pull for conversion from the potentiometer value we get the read value and i get the bar value and gauge value by dividing by 41 and 23 so that it can come from 0 to 100 for this one 0 to 180 and then <coughs> transmit the bar value and gauge value to these places number and j and z uh, is actually in the disk uh, in the nexian editor this is the one number uh dot well when you go to attribute the well is here this, this is how we change the value so it be changed from cube id uh, for like that um, we can send the background color everything is it n0 dot bc or n0 dot well like that so when you go to cube id that's what's it is happening something dot something we transmit it will automatically update in the next display so if uh, less than bar value less than 33 we change this to uh, blue color if it is 31 and uh, 50, sorry 33 and 66 green color uh, and then otherwise uh, red color we change this a color color changing is like that pco and text transmission txt and uh, value for the number uh, that's all we can save and uh, we compile and see all good we can click this green button to upload the code and uh, click ok yeah it's all uploaded i have uploaded the code let's increase oh. No, oh, it's green color. Now the pin is red color. Go back other side, decrease. Now faster, faster. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.